Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but something's gonna grow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. Well, I have a short uploading. Actually, I did I did the video three times, and whichever one uploads first will be the one posted. But while that's happening, because it's taking a long time, ooh, look at the garbage. Yeah, I got to get it out today. I was trying to hold off until garbage day, which is Tuesday. That's when we put everything out, and then it goes to the curb, and then Wednesday they pick it up. But it looks as if I didn't make it this week. Usually I do. I only have one bag a week. But anyway, in the short, you will see that I got the roosters up. <laughs> oh, they look funny to me because in the past, they've always been on a bigger wall. And so I have them spaced a little bit further apart, at least by a, a foot. And then I put the egg right in the center and they've always looked good that way. But now that I've knocked a million holes in the wall trying to get the nails in, uh, in the correct spot, I kept having to go like a, a, a slither up and a millimeter down and all that. And so this is how it came out. But it's there and it will remain there unless something better comes along, okay? <laughs> I should have went up, I should have went up above the sink. But anyway, oh well. Okay, I got my donations together for the uh, hurricane relief on today. And so, like I mentioned on yesterday, I am giving out six months worth of ostomy supplies. There are th three things that I could not spare six months worth of. And so my prayer is that some other ostomate out there, and I need to go check my sites to see if they have things going on. Uh, I need to uh, check because uh, maybe they're giving out some of the items that I couldn't. I could only spare one belt. And the reason that, I could only spare one. There are certain items that I only get every couple of months, whereas the bags, the powder, uh, and the, the barrier rings I get every month. So I had an over, and I get that uh, barrier film stuff. That's No, that's every two months. So that, the adhesive remover, which is right there, the belts, and the paste, which I was able to do two of, uh, those are every other month. So it takes a while. And so I don't have my stockpile build up, built up. I did one M9 because I'm kind of short on that. I might get two. Oh, I know why I did one because the others aren't in plastic and it will leak. This one happens to be in plastic. So I was able to do that one. I'm going to see if I can find another uh, that's in plastic. And if I can, then I will donate that one as well. Uh, they either send them in plastic. Sometimes they don't, and, and it does leak. So that I know. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, actually seven boxes of, uh, of, uh, of bags. I just did an extra. And then I, I found these in the closet when I was cleaning that out. Those are barrier rings, so I didn't need them because I have enough barrier rings, so I just added that bag to it. The other thing, and when I donate, I feel led. I don't have much to give, although I should, okay, but with all this junk. But I mean, for something like a hurricane disaster, I don't have much to give. But I was able to, I, I went into the preps a little bit. First of all, here's the blankets. I decided not to wash because that trailer that's there, and you will see it tomorrow when I film it, it's dirty. And I'm thinking, this stuff is going to get re, you know, dirty. So wherever it goes, hopefully it can be washed at that time. Okay, so I have the two blankets. As you can see, the blue jean, I call it the blue jean blanket, but it's made with denim yarn. And then that, that uh, comforter. I also was able to spare some jackets. I have this one, which is brand new and too small. I have this one here that is lined and then this one here. I like this jacket, but you know what? It was very uncomfortable driving in it. And I need, when I wear a jacket driving, especially if it, if it's, uh, you know, can support me in the winter, it has to, I have to be able to move my arms freely. And then it was tight in the middle. 
uh, it didn't jive well with the bag. So although I love that jacket, someone else could use it. Okay. Uh, these are part of the preps. I had an extra bar of soap. And I'm just about out of soap because I was going to give up five bars of soap. And doggone it, I only have two left myself. <laughs> so I need to stock up on soaps again because I had prepped soaps, but then I ended up using them and didn't replace the prep, which is the number one cardinal rule that I broke. Okay, I did have a toothpaste prep and I also had, I bought, okay, these were half off when I bought them. So it says $480, so I paid $240. A package of $50 cloth face masks by Hanes. Value World had those a year ago. Uh, I guess they were, might have been selling them during the pandemic, but once they declared that over with, they had bins of these face masks and it was half price day. And so I bought 500 masks. So I bought like 10 packs of these. I'm just now getting to half of the first pack and I wear my masks all the time when I'm out. I don't go anywhere. You would think it was still the pandemic. People look at me funny. I could care less. I have chronic illness and I was wearing a mask before the pandemic because I was on Imuron, which is an immune suppressant at one time. And so I had to wear a mask then. So when the pandemic hit and people were complaining about the mask, I'm looking at them like they're space aliens because I've been wearing a mask for the past few years here. But anyway, so I had bought packs and packs, and I said, these masks will last me the rest of my life. Well, I guess they will. I could spare one. So I uh, put a pack of the masks in because I'm thinking of someone who may be elderly, disabled, or chronically ill. And I'm I'm, I'm going to ask the, the people. I, I know they can't control where it goes or whatever. But uh, when they get to Florida with the truck, when they're handing out, if it's someone who says, oh, I need the ostomy bags, see if they would like the mask too. That's what I'm going to ask them to do because they can get both together and I know that would help help that person. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's go check the, let's go check the dinner, y'all. My stuff's been out on the grill for about 25 minutes here. So... And I decided I'm not doing anything today but resting. I didn't even go to the greenhouse today because I was going to go get the rest of the seed trays. I was going to spruce up in the backyard. I can do that tomorrow. I was going to get this stuff put away into the storage thing. I'm waiting. And here they, oh my God, the house is full of them. Ah, no, no, get out. I call them fly, flying roaches, but they're actually called stink bugs or something. I, I don't know what they're called, but we have them, okay? So that lets me know we are in, I was saying on a, on one of my responses that we have Indian summer in November, like mid-November to late November. We're in it now because we're supposed to hit 80 tomorrow. We're probably about 80 today. It's very, very, very warm out here. I think we're having an early Indian summer because I know we're going to have a rough winter this year. With that eclipse and that hurricane, oh no. Oh no, it's time. We're past due for a bad winter. So I'm going to get really, really prepared this year. I truly believe we're going to have a bad one. Okay, let's check the food. Make sure it's not burnt. Ah, it's burnt. Oh my God. Let me go get my thing. Hold on, y'all. I think I can save the steak. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this camera down while I go and get that steak off. Give me a minute, y'all. Enjoy the view of the peppers. Okay, y'all. Oh, another one of them bugs just got in. I stepped on them. Okay, y'all. Well, I'll make it with the steak. It's charred, but it's not too burnt. <laughs> or am I lying to myself? But everything else is okay, so I'm giving that a few more minutes. This fire got hot today. Hold on. Let's look again just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. 
So I'm gonna give that a few more minutes. I know what happened. My hickory, my hickory must have uh, lit up, and and that, and the fire got to it. That's what happened. Oh, now I'm making a mess on the floor. I'm tracking in char, bugs, and everything else. Whew, yeah, it's just like a summer day. It's summer's day. So yeah, we're at the we're in Indian summer now. Or the politically co correct term, Native American summer. Let's turn this camera around. Okay. I'm just setting the camera up so you guys can see me as I crochet. Hey! Okay, where? Okay. Now I've got, okay, I found the hook. Okay, so I just started on my, I'm making these. <laughs> because those look mighty bad. So what I'm going to do is get those made up today. So I'm basically working on these. Let me make sure it's long enough. Uh, do I want it to cover the whole arm? I think so. So let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that did it right there. Okay, so uh, anyway, so I'm working on that today. And then in probably about five minutes or 10 minutes, I'll get the steak. I mean, the pork steak's off, and the veggie packs can uh, cook down a little bit longer. So, But they're coming along good. But yeah, that fire got hot today. But yeah, with this hurricane, I'm glad to be able to donate. And uh, hopefully someone can use that. Well, I'm quite sure someone can use it. But I hope that they're, you know, they uh, get good use out of it. You know, a lot of people are replacing everything. You know, their homes were destroyed in the tornadoes as well as the hurricane and then there's three more on the horizon i believe one hit belize last night that was leslie but i think it went in as a tropical storm but it's not over that's the thing and then there's another one uh nadine i believe the name and then there's hurricane oscar and they say that's a smaller hurricane and they don't know where either one of those are going to hit but right now it looks as if nadine is going to hit bermuda Bermuda. So uh, thank God Florida and the Carolinas are being spared right now, but hurricane season right now, we're in halftime. So it's far from over. We still have the month of November and there has been uh, December hurricanes in the past. So we'll keep, we'll stay prayed up and I'm praying for everybody affected, even those in the Caribbean, you know, they go through it worse than we do. I remember that one that hit the Bahamas, was it the Bahamas or, uh, I believe that's what it was. And they showed those people on TV. This one lady was in the water holding on to something and I knew she wasn't gonna make it. And she just said, pray for me. She was holding on to some type of log and the waters were just, you know, splashing her. I'll never get that image out of my mind, okay? And that was only a few years back. Uh, I think that was Hurricane Michael, if I'm not mistaken. It hit them first before it came to Florida or wherever it landed in the U.S. And it was a Category 5 there and nothing was left. And they had just got through uh, going through an earthquake at the time. So, and why am I talking about this? Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah. So, I'm resting today. I'm just going to sit here, crochet, you know, eat my dinner, and then rest for the rest of the day. I've been busy all week, you know, with the fishing. And then I, it's getting ready. To, the finale is coming up uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Depending on what time that rain comes in on Wednesday, it could come early. It can come later. And our days are so much shorter now. And uh, But if it's cloudy, like they say, I can get up early in the morning and fish early while everybody's at work. I, I just don't like doing it. I prefer to go at about two or three, and then I fish until about six when it starts getting dark normally. And that's when people are getting off of work. People that I know usually show up, you know, on their boats and, and different ones fish, you know, from the bank, just like I do. I like being there when there's a high presence. Although there is a police presence there, but it's not as high as it is back in the summer. They ride through, but they're not there you know, constantly like they are back in the summer. And so I prefer not to go early when everyone's at work and I'm out there by myself. You know, I have to be careful. So uh, we'll see, you know, I'll ride through. And if I don't see anybody, you know, there on the premises, <laughs> 
then I'm out of there because those deer are there. I know that. And then I'll just have to wait and, and fish later. But if I can, if it's someone there uh, while I'm there, because lots of times elderly people uh, come and walk their dogs. So they, they walk through there and stuff. So if I see, you know, dog walkers and things coming through, then that lets me know. Or the staff, you know, sometimes they're there riding around, they're cutting grass, blowing leaves. They still have to stack the picnic tables. They haven't even done that yet. So they may start that this week on these nicer days. So the staff will probably be around. So if anybody's there, then I will get out in that little area and fish it for the day. And then I'll be out of there early. You know, once I get, I'm gonna go for more than eight. I'll get as many as I can, depending on how well they're biting. So, uh, and then I'll finish it out hopefully on Tuesday. So, uh, and that'll be it for me, unless, you know, a, a day that I just can't resist comes along, but rarely do I get to fish in November. I did last year, we caught fish, but, uh, it wasn't as comfortable. And once the time had changed, cause we went, I think to the Island twice in November for the finale, the, the day one, we did really well. We caught the limit and everything. And we went back for the finale. We went back to the island that very next day. And so it was a two-day event. And that next day, it was cold. It was going to rain, but it was cold. We froze. We were in and out of the car. We caught a few fish, but we couldn't even hang, y'all. We ended up leaving like at, I think it was two that afternoon. We got there at like maybe 11 that morning we were out of there in three hours we were like okay we've got enough fish enough is enough and we came on home because it was very very cold so we were home before dark and the time had changed so we knew it was going to be dark by five anyway but anyway so the time changes when we got this week and then that's it next weekend wait next weekend is the 28th oh next okay not next weekend but the it's either next weekend or it's not the weekend after i have to look at the calendar yeah i think next weekend is the time change let's see today is the 20th okay next weekend will be the 27th it's the following weekend okay so we after today we have one more sunday where it gets dark at six that following weekend when when we fall back we will be dark at five and boy oh I thank God that that fatigue and seasonal affective thing seems to be uh, under control because of the CPAP. Oh, and I didn't tell y'all about that. We finally got it straight now Friday. I was on the phone with them folks for three hours before. Wait, I went fishing Saturday. I didn't go Friday. Let me tell you, they were supposed to, they had sent me the wrong mask because they needed to send my three month supply of masks. They sent the wrong mask, something totally different that, that, I, that wasn't even ordered and so it took me it's been a month now i've been fighting to try to get the right mask and so they keep tell they kept telling me that the the correct one had been sent out i told them i did not receive it so then they gave me a bogus tracking number and so they had me calling the the united states postal service i had to call ups fedex because we didn't know how it was sent they said they didn't know how it was sent and they had me calling them trying to file complaints because they said my item must have gotten stolen. I said, who would want a CPAP mask? And so anyway, they put me through the ringer. And so finally, I called the main lady back, the Kathy, the one that I always deal with. But she can't handle the orders and stuff. She has to transfer it. She was like, I'm not supposed to do this. But she said, enough is enough. You've been going through this for a month. And she said they have those folks working from home still. They need to get them back into the office because they just do what they want to do. And the calls cannot be monitored or recorded, okay? So therefore, Kathy did it. She said, expect your mask to come Monday or Tuesday. And so I am certain that she will have it right. And if not, I am to call her directly. And I have her direct number because it's her and a lady named Nina. They're the only two who work in that, that department. And I've dealt with both of them and they are excellent. So hopefully this will be resolved finally. And then I can order again in December. And so Kathy said, unfortunately, we'll probably end up having to go through this all over again in December. But I told her I'm going to get onto the automated. That way I can go on the computer and order and I can write in you know, type in 
exactly what I'm ordering. And hopefully, hopefully someone who's doing the sending or shipping can read, okay? Because that was the problem. Okay, so let me get off of here and uh, I will uh, bid you a farewell because I really don't have much to say. My seeds are doing good. My seedlings. Oh, Renee, I wanted to tell you and everybody else, I'm getting ready to do an exp experiment. On tonight, I'm going to be soaking some pepper seeds, some sweet pepper seeds. So I got to go through my seed, uh, my seed uh, bank and I'm going to pull out the pepper seeds that I like the best. And I'm going to get them soaking in hydrogen peroxide for the next two days. And then I'm going to direct sow them into the winter garden. And I'm going to see if they come up. And if they do, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to direct sow them into the seed, my seed tray. Because I have one in there that, that's full of seed starting mix in the greenhouse. And I'm going to bring that in. And I can direct sow those seeds in there. And then if they come up and do well, then I'm going to transplant them into the winter garden, you know, when, once they get too big for the seed tray over the winter months. And then, of course, I'm going to be uh, sowing my pepper seeds anyway. I have to order a lot of varieties and I'm going to be uh, once I get those ordered, I'm going to be sowing those in January anyway, because that's when we in Michigan are to to uh, uh uh, start our pepper seeds. I didn't know that until this this season. And I've always started my pepper seeds in April. And that's the reason why my peppers have never done that well until this year. They actually did well this year. I don't know what, oh, I direct, I, I started them in March this year. That's the reason why the peppers did better than, than before. So by starting them in January next year, I would expect that my peppers will do very, very well. But anyway, I'm getting ready to start some now. So I know those will do well. And I'll just let them, they'll probably never, you know, produce peppers, but they should be nice and, and mature when it's time to put them out in the spring. So anyway, that's an experiment. So even if it doesn't work, it's an experiment. And depending on how it does, it will become a yearly ritual if uh, it does well, if that does well. So I'm calling it Peppers the Irish Way. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so let me get off. We're at 22 minutes. Hello to everybody uh, watching. Welcome to the new members. Please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.